Hi, my awesome friends. Guess what time it is? Yes, it is. It's coloring party with friends. Oh, I love doing this so much. I love being with my awesome coloring buddies. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. You know we're going to be doing our partying Monday every Monday. So come on by. And if you like to join in, anything you want to do, you can color any kind of page. You can even free draw and color in. We don't care. You can do a half a page, a page, two pages, as much as little as you want. Just come and join us. And we love having you here with us. Make sure you check out the playlist and everyone that's joining in every week. Oh my, I just love doing this. Well, guess what we're doing today? We're doing something a little different. I'm doing uh, some new products that I bought. Now, I'm not saying they're new. They're just new for me because I'm new to coloring. And I bought um, a couple new products. Not too happy with either one. But it could be I'm using them incorrectly or not using them the proper way. And I need your help to help me figure out what I want to do about them. Not throwing anything away. You know I don't do that. I will use them up one way or the other. The first one is the outline markers. And I did use everything but the uh, black or dark brown. I thought that would be just too dark and wouldn't work at all. So, but I used all the colors up and I'm giving you a tip on how they all work for me and not well at all, I thought. They were hard to work with, but maybe I'm doing them wrong. Need your help. Come on guys, give mom, grandma Sandy some help on how to use these or if I use them properly and that's just how they're going to look. I started with the green on the leaves and it did all right but it was hard to stay right on line they don't quite go the way you think they're going to go and they need to work and practice with them more the yellow i had a little better control with but still not perfect you can see i couldn't quite always make the mark on the line and they have a metal look to them also that's probably what i'm not liking it's just too much metal but maybe that's just the way they're supposed to look or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I did the butterfly wing with the yellow and it sort of looks good. Maybe, I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. The flower slice, flower looked sort of good. The orange, I sort of liked sort of too and I had somewhat control over that. But, you know, it's really hard to say the colors because the colors really don't show through that well because of all the metal look on these markers. And um, so it was a real struggle. And then I used the light blue on the blue flowers. And I think I like them the best out of all that I've used. I had a little bit of control or I got better at controlling it. I don't know which. Like I said, these were difficult for me to use, but I did want to share it with you and maybe I can get some input from my awesome friends to help me tell me what I'm doing wrong or I just need to learn that is what they're going to look like. Well, let me know what you thought. Did you like the light blue ones that are on these flowers here? Or did you like the yellow or the orange? Or did you like any of them? And here are the pink and the pink, I seem like I even had more trouble with. And you did see that there was pink, but I really didn't like how it looked with all the metal look. Um, I think that's what my problem is. I just don't like that metal look. But you know, the part of using new products is, even if we don't always like how they're turning out, we're learning. So it's never a failure, guys. We need to get over the fear of failure and just try out new products, see how we like them. And share them with each other now here's the purple I used and this one was even harder to control the paint just poured out and that's why I'm thinking I need more practice with these to get better for I can see if I can do a better job that's always what we have to do practice practice and don't be afraid of failures we're gonna get better at everything we do if we just get over the fear and fear has always been my big problem with everything I do. So I'm not fearful exactly on this. I'm just not happy. But let me know what you thought. And am I using these 
these uh, markers incorrectly or are they for a certain purpose and I didn't use it for the right purpose? Uh, I'm not quite sure. So let me know. But like I know, we all need to get over the fear of using new products. If we don't use them, we're never going to learn how to use them. Now this one here is the dark blue one on this flower. And that one sort of poured out also. So this was another problem I had. These color markers, sometimes they're, they don't do too bad. And other times there's no way you can control it. They're just, the color's just pouring out of them. And... Um, so it was difficult for me. So let me know what you thought of these markers. But I did want to mention one thing. This is how bad they bleed through. Is this not terrible? And all the color is at the back. You didn't hardly see any of the color at the front. You saw that metal look at the front. And if you didn't have something underneath this page, you would be totally wrecking the page underneath. So I did know on all my drawings I always put some kind of paper towel or napkin or something in between to make sure that if something bleeds through it's not going to go on my next picture and this one bled through as you can see so we just do the best we can nothing can bring you ha peace but yourself I do believe that also this is why I love this book it's so full of positive feedback what do you think about that I love the positive feedback in this book and we use this book a lot and I'm always happy about the message it sends out. Nothing can bring you peace but yourself and that is so true and that's one reason why I love doing the art because it brings me peace and joy. Now my second container of new product was the Bic Bright Light uh, liner pastels um, they were another not my favorites either I will use these products up in time but I probably will buy neither one of these again this one you could only work in large areas and but in fact both of these you could only work on pages where there was lots of space uh, there'd be no way you could do a small space very well they were hard to work on small spaces and uh, this one was a great one too. Sending love. Lots of it. We need to send love and support out to all our YouTube friends. And that's another reason why I'm loving Coloring Party with Friends. I think we're getting to build a great community of friendship together. And love between us. These did blend somewhat. Not as good as I have would have liked. Not as good as my uh, gel pens, but it did blend. Uh, and they do cover large spaces a little easier than my gel pens. And this also was a practice, I guess, in a way, because I only used four colors for the whole page. And I thought that was good, too. I think it's important that we learn to practice what we, what, you know, with different colors and schemes and products. They're not failures. They're learning teaching us a learning curve and how to do better and I know I'm going to have a lot of failures but failures are not failures they're learning experiences so never get yourself depressed oh it didn't turn out well I need to throw it in the trash no don't throw them in the trash put them up on this show us what how it worked for you why you liked it or why you didn't like it we need to know these things and I'm showing you what I did they don't look exactly bad, but they're not as good as I usually do. But I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to throw it in the trash. I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to show you with, share with you if I'm even doing something incorrectly. Because how am I going to get better if no one tells me how I should have done it? So never think of failure. Think of learning. We're learning how to color. We're learning how to build relationships with each other. These are not failures. These are learning curves. Thank you so much for coming by and seeing what Grandma did this week on Coloring Party with Friends. Oh my gosh, thank you all for stopping by. Please let me know if you've worked with these products and am I doing something wrong or that's just how they are. I don't know, but I'm going to be buying a lot more products in the future and hopefully 
I will learn different ways to put these things up and to enjoy our coloring together every week. I love you. Hugs and kisses.